the next time you interrupt me, yeah? Yeah. The next time you interrupt me, Joseph, yeah. Joseph Malloy, yeah. I will end you, okay? Why are you using my full name? Why are you using my government name? I want you to know this threat is real. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my god, my eyebrows are in shambles today. <laughs> you guys have to just look at me from the eyes down. Baby. <laughs> Baby got <gone> back. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I used to. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hello, right, guys. I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm currently in any uh i had some chest pains it's been lasted for about uh three weeks now i think it started to worry me today well yesterday last night because it started to get quite a bit worse so today i decided to call the doctors and they told me i had to call the emergency line because they don't really deal with that at the doctor's office so that's what I did and an ambulance come and took a test and took me in here and they've done loads of tests, they've done chest x-ray and blood so I'm just waiting now to find out. I feel a bit silly because obviously I've not really had a heart attack, it's just chest pains but yeah, you don't want to, with things like that, you don't want to leave it too long obviously because if you are getting the warnings you need to listen to them but it's a bit of a odd one because it comes and goes. Um, so. Anyway, I'll let you know what happens, what the results say. I hope you can hear me because I've currently put my headphone in my mask. So hopefully you guys can hear what I'm saying. Now, not just sitting here talking to myself. You might brush your beard. Look at him, hobo, hobo alert. <laughs> His hair hasn't been cut. What is this, Bab? What is this? What is this unprofessionalism? You come to my YouTube channel and you can't even act right. My eyebrows are looking mighty. <laughs> what is this? You know? You spent hours on your makeup. What is this? Hours. I spent 25 minutes. Hours on your makeup. Hours. You're not ready yet. Hours. Oh my God, why is it going on with my eyebrows? Why did you tell me my eyebrows are this thick today? Thicker than a snicker. <laughs> Alright guys, just accept it. These are the eyebrows of the day. <laughs> I'm not... they, do they look like sisters though? They don't even look like sisters, I don't Fat think. sisters. Yeah, they, I suppose they look like sisters a bit. Yeah. You mm, go. Questionable. All right, little one is napping. I keep looking at myself. Sorry, I look at the camera. Little one is napping. Jose is doing all the fifty million dishes we've accumulated today. Um, what I want to do today, I don't know it will, how it will work because I'm gonna be busy. Whilst I'm gonna be like this, it's gonna look like I'm cross-eyed. But <laughs> don't worry about that. Okay. Um, but I wanted to make kebab for the first time using the gas grill here so i want to put like a thing over it and let the fire thing it cook it well i'm gonna pre-cook it a bit because obviously that's gonna probably burn it before it's cooked so i'm gonna pre-cook it and then i'm gonna put it on there so wish me luck um i know that previously you've seen me in the a and &E. i'm fine i had chest pain so i went to a and &E, because I had it before and all the things I was reading pointed to a heart attack and I was like uh, I'm not the one in this relationship with a heart problem wait 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 you have to I was gonna say you just hopped straight into that you didn't even say yesterday I had an ambulance come out for me because I was having chest pains I'm getting to it Sam. you were just talking about it <sighs> go on do you do you boo next time you interrupt me yeah yeah. The next time you interrupt me, Joseph, yeah. Joseph Malloy, yeah. I will end you, okay? Why are you using my full name? Why are you using my government name? I want you to know this threat is real. Oh, okay. Okay. To me. <laughs> I would never, I would never, Joseph, I would never interrupt you the way you just interrupted me. <laughs> the, in, in the manner you took it upon yourself. To interrupt me? Is this acting class one to one interrupt one? me? <laughs> are we doing a, a YouTube video here? Are you waking your son up? Oh shit. Are you shouting? 
Oh, sugar. You are shouting. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to go in. Got to be very quiet. All right, I'm gonna stop shouting now, guys. I'm gonna calm down <laughs> and remember <laughs> that I have a baby. You're a mother. I'm a mother now. I'm a mother. Um, is he good? Yeah, he's good. Is he still? Yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, chest pain. And I left it last time. Well, I call 111, which is sort of that second to the emergency line where they give you advice. So I called them. They said they would call me back. Called me back like 25 hours later, but by then I was fine. It wasn't 25 hours, it was like five hours later, but you have to exaggerate a little bit. Called me five hours later, I was fine. So I left it and I felt starting to feel better when we were exercising. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, it's probably just because I've gained loads of weight and I'm not moving at all. And I think that was because of that. But then recently I started having chest pain again. Um, but more on my right side, but it followed through to my right arm to the back. So just to be on the safe side, I called them. They sent an ambulance out to me. The ambulance checked me. They said, everything looks fine. There's just a slight, I can't even remember what it's called. I don't know, but anyway, there's a slight something. <laughs> Mostly it's fine. Let's say it's 90%, 99% fine, and then maybe 1% on fine. So I should be all right. But because it's the ambulance, because it's to do with the heart, they always recommend that you go in because so that they can do blood tests and everything. So I went in, they did all the bloods. I was there from about half 12 to, what was it, four, five o'clock? Yeah, it was about half, half four. Half four. Um, so I was there a while. Um, the first bit was quite quick, but then the last bit for me waiting for the results and to speak to a doctor again was about two, well, two hours wait, yeah. Um, so that came back, everything is good. The only thing they said was there's a heart thing. I can't remember what it was, but I'll tell you more in another video when I find out what it is. Because what they've done at the A&E is they've written a letter to my doctor um, for them to investigate further. And I was like, you have to be kidding me. After like Joe, I thought I was the healthy one. After Joe going through what he's going through. But it turns out I'm not as healthy as I think. But yeah, when you know me, I'm always trying to be like Joe. So yeah. But anyway. Wait, good. sorry. Comment below. I also want to know. Yeah. Anyone else with small children mm. who is getting obviously a lot less sleep and is constantly yeah, there's always that as well. working. Yeah. Um, did you suffer with chest pain, any form of like heart issues, murmurs yeah. or anything like that? Let us know. Yeah, I think it well, yeah, it will have to, it will have to see below what you say to that. I'd like, I would actually like to know as well. Um, but obviously, I think it's a combination of things if you already have a heart that's not 100% great, which is obviously what we're going through now with baby is that uh, no sleep, and obviously, the exercise didn't do to baby, but. No sleep doesn't help, um, and then lack of exercise. Exercise is our own fault. So I do need to do better with exercise, but it's just so not much fun sometimes, you know? <laughs> That's what's happened yesterday. That's what's happening. I know it's not giving you much information, but unfortunately it's all I have, okay? It's all I have. But I'm not too worried. I think it put my mind at ease to know that obviously I wasn't having a heart attack or anything like that. My only thing is that I don't really mess around when it comes to my health. If I feel something really strong, or if I start to worry about something, I always try to make sure I get it checked. Because one thing I'm always worried about is leaving something too long, um, and it get worse when they could have tackled it sooner. So if I feel anything like that, I tend to not ignore it, because your body is very good at telling you when something's wrong. So anyone who does that, I'd advise you not to get yourself checked if you can because it's better to catch things early and work it out than to leave it too late because your body is always signaling and telling you what's going on but with the chest pain that i had they think it's just muscular so it could be tightened because it's a big boy carrying him around and everything else bad posture or sleeping wrong i don't know but um it's muscular and it seems to be all right at the moment so I don't know if it's better yet because it goes through it goes in two ways where I feel it more sometimes than others. But at the moment, it is fine. Oh my god, I can't get over my eyebrows. We're just coming with all the bad news. I know, right? Alright, on a happier news, we're, we're, we're gonna grill some chicken. 
<laughs> how, many how, many, how many people have seen it? Not for Yeah, how many people have seen the Justice League? Justice League. Justice League? The, 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 Justice League. How many of you have seen it? Justice League Jack Schneider. You're beautiful, Pam. Oh, thank you. Even with your hobo self, you still look gorgeous. Thank you. I'm beautiful, I know. Um, <laughs> Alright, don't, don't let it go to your head. <laughs> but yeah. Let me get all the stuff out. So I'm gonna season it. I'm gonna make my own garlic, garlic sauce. So get the. So I always when I buy my chicken, I always um wash it. Oh, and it's camera stuff. That's easier anyway. So I always wash it and chop it up to what I need and put it in the fridge. I've taken two bags out just in case because I don't know exactly how much is in that. But it's defrosted in the fridge overnight and it's ready to be seasoned. I'm gonna start seasoning. I haven't really decided, so I'm just taking some seasonings out. Um, don't mind the kitchen roll. It says Bravas Mix SPL de Sol. So this contains um, hand gathered salt, garlic, paprika, cayenne, oregano. Hand gathered salt? And it's, um, yeah. It's like per granule. <laughs> <laughs> Salt comes in like a rock fall, that's why it's high and guarded. <laughs> Let me see that. <laughs> sea salt, that is. Alright, so I'm gonna put a little bit because it's smoked paprika and I'm not a big, the biggest fan of smoked flavour. So I'm not gonna put too much, but it does have good flavourings. So I put a little bit. Obviously, a person's little bit might be Very. another person's a lot. So that's this is onion granules. We put that, we like that so we can put a lot of that garlic, garlic, we put a lot of that, black pepper, fresh black pepper, a good reception, <laughs> um, celery salt, celery salt is the stuff, you don't know about it, it's the stuff. So we put okay. Um, we mix that. I'm gonna put some soy sauce. Not too much because obviously I already have other items containing salt. Uh, I'm gonna put some sweet soy ketchup manis. What's that? Roughly a teaspoon. <laughs> like roughly. roughly a teaspoon. Roughly. Your measurements are wild. This guy's still fast asleep. It's chicken, so we're doing a little bit of lemon juice. I've already washed it in lemon previously because I always pre wash my chicken with lemon and salt. I may add a bit more soy la sauce. It's crazy because you just feel like it's not enough, but I couldn't tell you how I feel it. But you just have that feeling. You just know in your bones, do you? I just know it in my body. Because I'm not going to season it overnight as well. So when I'm seasoning something overnight, I tend to put a little, I might put a little bit less of the seasoning. So that obviously, because it has longer to penetrate it. But I'm just pre-seasoning it now. Um, while I prep everything else. Um, and I'm put a little bit, like a tiny bit of yogurt. If you're leaving it to marinate for like, three hours or so I could have got a spoon out but I didn't want to dirty a spoon <laughs> and now I'm regretting because it's going everywhere <laughs> uh, normally with if you put yogurt as a seasoning you don't really you normally put it for around three hours you don't want to put it for more than eight hours I feel like it goes a bit weird after that 
But again, I'm only probably gonna leave that there for about an hour, two max, before it starts cooking. But that's done. I just got a separate bit of chicken here that I'm thinking just in case that's not enough. But I'll season it. If, if that is enough, then I'll just use it for something else. But I'm doing similar seasonings. Look at love of that. All right, um, little man has just woken up, as you can tell by his confused face, and his little fro. Hey, your little fro! I brushed his hair out today. I did I? I brushed your hair out. Did you, mommy? I brushed your hair out today. Uh, what do you guys think? His little fro. Uh, but yeah, so Joseph is going to be doing my little kebab sauce. I'm gonna put quite a bit of garlic. So that's three cloves of garlic in there. Um, I'm gonna cook it a little bit. So put the garlic in there, Bam, to cook it. I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, just all of it, dash it. Yeah. Oh, Sam, you know you're a chef when you're cooking garlic like this. <laughs> I might just do this on a daily basis so I'm just like <laughs> Just to feel like I'm a, you're I'm a chef a, I'm a chef mate <laughs> I think that's You think that's all it takes to how, be a chef Look how perfectly I'm doing this You're moving a bit too much to be honest You oh, can just sorry. let it <laughs> Yeah <laughs> oh, no, Somebody's funny. taking this job a little too seriously So you need One of these Of mayo One deciliter of mayo And then you take the spatula and scoop everything out rather than shake it. Oh my god, he's taking everything in me not to just take over right now. It's done though. Yeah, it's alright. Alright, I'm gonna hold that over it. I'm gonna give you... So you want um, some Greek style yogurt or Turkish yogurt. And you want one deciliter of that as well. Oh. You want some yogurt, Papa? Yeah, put that in. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> you want one of these, a tablespoon of the hot sauce. Try this one more time. One tablespoon. Which one? This of one. Honey. This no, one. Yeah, that's that one. Okay, I'm gonna move this little boy away from here. <laughs> Bless you. Can you not sneeze on my toes, please, and thank you? I feel like you're very thingy. There. You were a bit shy of a. That was my. That was move, it. Move, please. So that's way more than a tablespoon, isn't it? It's not way more. It's just a little bit, maybe more. All right, and you want to sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper. So with the garlic sauce, I'll just put the recipe below. <laughs> I'm just going to finish it off now because it's hard trying to hold baby and trying to instruct Joe. Oh, oh. That's bloody lovely. Alright. So. Oh, that's good. Oh. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of my paprika, salt, and. What's it? What is it? Paprika, salt, and cayenne. Cayenne pepper. <coughs> you like Baba? Paprika salt, cayenne pepper, um, and oregano mix that I have. Um, I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of that in it, and I put some salt. 
from celery salt. So ideally with this sauce, you want to do it the night before. So obviously everything in it has a chance to marinate. Marinate. That good marinate. And just put it in the fridge. It's the first time that I've tried it with cooking the garlic. I'm not really tasting the garlic in it that strongly. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what it's like when it's been marinating for a bit. Because I don't want to overdo it. But I think that's good with salt and pepper. I'm not forgetting everything. Mm. Hey. Hello, Papa. Mm. I almost forgot that I was singing. Look, it's cooled down enough. Mm. Excuse me, can you guys move that the way, please? I forgot my door, my move, and thank you. All right, guys. So, we need to skewer the chicken now. So, I'm going to do that quickly. I got my skewers here. This is what you saw earlier. So I've got metal skewers like this. Uh, I'm going to skewer the chicken. I think I might use two skewers for one piece to sort of hold it up like this. Um, I'll show you what I mean. How do these guys say sword? Because Joe always makes fun of me because I say sword, how it's actually spelled. But um Joe saying that you say sword S-O-R-D S -O -R -D, rather than sword so I, I've always said sword but Jose is <laughs> this is a very complicated question because you keep saying sword and sword how many times <laughs> but you say in the same way yeah sword Joseph says sword and I say sword <laughs> I'm so scared of like I'm doing it but I'm so scared of stabbing myself my hands are like shaking trying to get it in. I've got shaky hands anyway. So like that. So you got two and you do two ends of the chicken. Yeah, you do two ends of the chicken. Let me turn it this way a bit. Ah! Oh. It's trying to get to what I'm doing now. But it's not allowed. No, because it's raw of chicken, course. Baba. Oh. Otherwise, I'll let you touch it, but... No, it's trying to touch the smoke a lot. Go on then. Touch it. We're giving up. Touch it then. Look. <laughs> Daddy always doing stuff that he's not supposed to with baby. Oh my goodness me, I got shouted at the other day. Why? Tell him why. Obviously, Titan is a small child. I like to think of myself as a little bit strong. So I chucked him up in the air. He enjoyed it. He's laughing and joking. Ida, almost again with a dodgy ticker, has a heart attack. That's probably why your chest pain happened. Yeah, you started it. Yeah. Uh, I forgot something with my seasoning. I forgot to put oil to stop it from burning. So, so I'm just put a bit of oil in my hand here and I'm gonna sort of put it over the bit that I've already done. And obviously the chicken that I haven't put in the stew yet. So this is the skewer that I've done so far. There's a slight issue with this experiment. Um, I've done my skewers, so I've done two here. I've put them into the two skewers, so four in total, um, but two pins. Uh, however, they won't fit like fully flat onto the pan. And I kind of wanted to seal it so that the moisture doesn't escape. I wanted to fry it first at a high temperature so that it seals all the moisture in because it's chicken breast. And the chicken breast is not, everyone says chicken breast is dry, but it's not dry. It's, if it gets overcooked and if you don't seal the moisture in, that's how it gets dry. So I'm gonna try and figure it out. I've put the um, pan on to heat. I'm gonna get it really hot and then we'll try and figure it out. But I wanna seal it and then I might put it in the oven. We'll see how much work I can get done. On the frying pan, <laughs> attacking me. 
we'll see how much work I can get done on the frying pan before. Wish me luck. Wish me luck, Titan. Do you wish me luck? You got yogurt all over your face. So warm. I didn't put any oil or anything on it because I wanted it to get really hot. Um, now it appears to be very hot. So, Jose, hold the camera. I'm gonna put oil in it. And then I'm gonna put me chicken on. So what I might do, I might just slide it forward a bit. Well, a lot. To as far to the end as possible. Joseph is not paying attention, so I'll have to bring you the piece. Hopefully, not get chicken juice everywhere. But I'll slide it to the end. And as you can see, it's only cooking really the front bit of the chicken. And that's. So I'm just pouring that hot oil on the bits of the chicken now. So as you can see, it is getting cooked by it. So hopefully that will help seal it in just like how I wanted it to. oven so my oven's already preheated so I only obviously I don't want to overcook it but I only pre I only cook it for about five minutes and after I've cooked it for five minutes that's what it looks like you guys see so it's already got some color on it um if you're using metal metal stick just be careful because they do get hot but yeah, this is what it looks like so far. So I'm hoping that that was enough to sort of seal in the moisture. And what I'm going to do now is just throw these in the oven. I'm going to wrap it up because um, I don't want it to brown anymore. Because I want the fire to do all the browning. So I'm going to wrap it up and I'm throwing it in the oven for five minutes. As I said, preheated oven up. Heated it, preheated it for about 200 degrees Celsius on a fan assisted oven so guys I've opened the door um, I'm opening El Doro just in case it gets smoky and I've opened the window wide open uh, it ended up be cooking for seven minutes rather than the five minutes that I said only because I was doing other things. So that's it out now. Let me not put it next to Titan before he decides to touch it. So that's it out of the oven. So in the meantime, I put this thing that I bought on here and I put the gas on the lowest. So I'm gonna turn that up a little bit just for it to start heating up the actual um, 
metal so it's stainless steel and it's just a cooling rack actually for cake cakes and stuff so the flame is on about medium to low um, and then excuse the extractor fan So I've just put that on and the flame got a bit higher so I've just turned the flame down a bit. Like I said I preheated um, this so all the whole time that the chicken was cooking in the oven preheated it. Alright I've increased the flame a bit to medium just because it's not really browning that much but I keep turning it quite often because I don't want it to burn. What you doing, Baba? Huh? Play with everything but your toys. Look at this whole tray of activities. Look at this whole tray. Yet you're playing with a measuring cup. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Did the tray offend you? Did you not like that I suggested that you should play with it? It smells like barbecue in here now. Um, I'm just gonna take the juices from when I put it in the oven and just brush it on top a bit. I've turned the fire up as well because it wasn't really browning fast enough for me and I don't want it to dry out before it gets that beautiful barbecue color. Oh starting to proper smell like barbecue in here I'm, I'm very excited I've just turned the fire on full now because the chicken should be cooked so really now I'm just looking for the color and um, the top bits obviously have color from before but I'm just wanting the bottom to get some color so I'm just moving that to the fire maybe I should put it this way just so that because the top is pretty much done I just want the bottom to get some fire now so I'm just turning it so that the bottom bit is on the fire but the top is away from it because I don't want it to continue to Ooh. trying to film and do this is actually rather dangerous obviously don't ever put this on and just leave the kitchen <laughs> I don't think that needs to be said but just in case somebody decides to try it why is there only one? what do you, th what do you mean there is only one? one each? yeah because that's plenty one each one each is plenty, yeah. Fanny. One each. One each. I've just left the house, that's why I've got soap on my hands. <laughs> Alright, so I bought these from our local Middle Eastern shop. So I'm just going to throw them in the oven now. Well, I'm just going to um, spritz some water like that on them. And then I'm going to put them in the oven to reheat. Because these are done, I think. For a while, they're just um, fin finishing up completely. I'm just going to do that. Alright, one minute. Guys, I am so excited yet so offended at the same time. It's alright, it's alright. It's not okay. I can't believe you um, made me one. So you do that. I'm only doing a little bit for Joe because obviously he doesn't like the look of, what's the word? Mayo or any white sauce. Is that mayo? Well, it's the mixer we just made. Um, so I'm going to put a bit of barbecue sauce to cover it up for him. And... <laughs> I have no idea he's still doing that. <laughs> you don't know he's there. Just, just ignore it. Um, some shredded lettuce. Obviously you can put whatever sauce you like. Um, and then you take your meat. Oh, look at the juices of that. Mm. Oh, guys, obviously it's fully cooked in the middle. Um, let's cut one so I can prove it to you. Fully cooked, but not dry. Because you just saw the juices when I was pushing it out. And as you can see, Bab, that's plenty of chicken and it's enough. Burn! <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter with you? Alright. Alright, continue then. Chicken. My chicken. Uh. And 
then we put that onto the side. We put some onion. And some fresh onion. Fresh onion is always good for you for health wise as well. Oh wait, why am I shouting still? Ah it's so peaceful without that. Um some cucumber. Some cucumber. Mm. Yeah, it's cucumber in your mouth. Look at his face. Yum, 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 yum. Nah. Alright, and then we take a bit more sauce. I don't need any more of that, do I? No, I Just do some barbecue because that boy loves his barbecue. Alright, um, let's. Mom. Cheese. Alright, guys, that was a success. Let me know if you try it, obviously, with a lot of safety. If you try it at own risk, I'm not recommending that you try it. I'm not telling you to try it. But mine was extremely successful and it's delicious. Like I said, when you put it in the oven. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Am I being too slow for you? Do you want some chicken? You want some chicken? Um, but yeah. Um, where was I then? Where was I? If you do try it, let me know below. If you are going to try it, let me know below. But recommendations. Don't over season it with um, things like mustard and other things like that because that will burn quicker. So you need to be careful what type of seasoning you use. Try first with the seasoning that I did and then change it if you need to. Yeah. Sorry, my bad, babe. Am I moving too slow for you? Um, yeah. Try it with um, obviously with the seasoning and cook it in the oven for maximum seven minutes because you don't want to overcook it. And then once you've cooked it in the oven for that long, just put it straight on the fire and then just obviously adjust it as in what you need it for. But when you are frying it, the first initial fry to seal it in, just take the hot oil, unless you have a flat enough frying pan, then just cook it fast to seal it the moisture in but that's really worked so I've done it like three steps to get to here but that's worked very well and Joseph is just silent in the background enjoying his chicken Woo! all right thanks for this babe you like it I was hungry as well Great. still one is not enough if you of but if, you when, if you order kebab from outside you have one yeah but they they trim it don't they so you get even less than this well, this ain't gonna film me. Not that I'm ungrateful or anything. <laughs> this is lovely, thank you. But well, yeah. We hope um, you enjoyed the video. We have been saying for a long time that Ada's gonna do cooking with Ada for yeah. following videos. Well, we haven't been saying it, but you've been requesting it. I think we've been saying it at home that I need to get one, but we've had a few requests for cooking with Ada. So, here you go. Hope you enjoy. This one for you guys. Open your mouth. Open wide. Mm -mm. You say it, Titan. Subscribe. Like. And share. <laughs> and comment. Mm. Always comment because we love reading your comments. Do mm this. -hmm. She play me like some more, some more. Like some more, some more.